Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the complete step by step code explanation of e-commerce app which I built last week which was built using Kotlin and Firebase. So let's quickly see a demo of the project. So let's create a new account. Let's give it test test at gmail.com test one, two, three. and let's sign up as we can see here the all the products are displayed in the main page all the all the products are displaying from the real-time database from firebase as we as we can see here I have given a section to filter the products according to the brand so if we give the trending page, it will load all the products from the database. If we give Nike, it will specific Nike specific products. If we give Asics, it will uh, uh, filter the products. Adidas, Sketches. I also implemented the like functionality in this app. So for example, if we like these products it will be added to the database we can see uh, this like products in the uh, in the like page of our app as you can see here so if we click on the like button it will remove the like item from the list If we click on any product, it will lead, uh, it will lead to the uh, details page of the pro of the of the app where we can see details of our of the products. If we if we hit on add to cart without selecting the size, it it will give us error. So we have to select the select the size before before and so let's select the size seven and let's add to cart. So we have uh, uh, we can see as we can see uh, the product is displayed in the cart and also the pr price is added, added to the cart. So let me quickly add one more product. So. If you if I click on the checkout, it will be a remote from the a remote from the uh, cart. Let me quickly walk you the design of the app. I used one activity, multiple fragments. So here are in total six fragments. For the sake of simplicity. I use simple design for the uh, for the sign in and sign up fragments. Uh, earlier, uh, earlier I used uh, linear layouts uh, many times, but uh, I, later I realized that uh, uh, constraint layouts are more efficient. So I used constraint layout as much as possible in in my app. So let. Let us see all the fragments, design of the fragments. Fragment main page, fragment like page, fragment details page, and fragments card page. Uh, let, let us see the uh, uh, items for the recyclers view. Card product. Category main. Shoe display item. And size item. So now I will walk you through the code of the app. 
uh, as I said before, it is a, a one activity multiple fragment app. So here is the activity. So in the in this activity now on create meta, I I, uh, I change the I use this code for to change the status bar color to black. Uh, and this this activity this activity has a fragment container view for the fragments uh, different fragments to load. I have I have specified the na nav graph for this. As we can see, this nav graph. It it by default opens in sign in page. Then it moves to the uh, other other screens of the app. So let us see the sign in sign in fragment of the app. So here is a sign in fragment. In the uh, on view created method on view created method. I have given a given a check if if the uh, user has previously logged in, it will directly he will be directed directed to the uh, ma main fragment, or else uh, he uh, the the user has to sign in sign in using the email and password which he has uh, ma made it made before, or if he want to create a new account. Then he can go to the sign up fragment. Uh, he has the implementation for that to move to the sign sign up fragment. Here, uh, the user can create a new uh, a new new account with email email ID and password. So let us see the main fragment of the app. This is the main fragment of the app. In this, in this, uh, in this main fragment, uh, I have uh, I have uh, written the code for the category, uh, which we have saw, which we have saw that uh, trending Nike, Adidas, and the list field of the app uh, for uh, for that section of uh, recycler view. And next is uh, recycler view for the for the products to display from the database. And next is the uh, code for the bottom navigation. As we can see here, in the we ha I have used binding uh, view bi view binding in all, all my uh, project. Uh, as we can see in the category uh, category category uh, uh, recycle view. Uh, uh, it will uh, it will add trending to the and uh, trending as the first first uh, item. Then we, then it will uh, get the list from the database. A uh, list of all the brands of uh, from the database. And also it will uh, uh, get the data of the products from the real time database. A uh, real time database. Oh, let me uh, quickly show the category adapter and main category adapter and shoe display adapter. Uh, shoe display adapter. Uh, here, here I used uh, a, a glide to uh, a glide library to display the image. Uh, display the image from the uh, uh, Firebase. Uh, Firebase. And this is the implementation of the uh, like button. Like button. And similar thing have I have done in the main main category adapter also. And I have also given the interface for on click category. And here I given the two two interface for on click product and on click like. 
which I have implemented here. Uh, if, if we click on the on like, it will be added to the database uh, and also on click product. So here is the like fragment. Like fragment basically does the two tasks. One is to display the products from the database. And one more thing is to uh, when we click on the like button, it removes the da uh, data that uh, removes that particular product from the database. It uh, displays the product uh, specific to the user, and also it removes the uh, product specific to the user using the PID. I have specified PID for each products uh, in the uh, real-time database of uh, in uh, in the list of all the products. So this is the details fragment of the app. It uh, it it displays the product from the data uh, from the database. Uh, so when we click on the product in the main page, uh, it uh, it it is directed to the details page. Uh, as we can see here, uh, uh, it, it uh, we have we have product ID as the nav argument. Using that product ID, I display the items from the database. And whenever we click on the uh, add to cart button, uh, the product will be uh, are added to the cart, uh, cart database in the in the Firebase Firestore. Uh, as we can see here, we have I have an additional check for the select if the user has uh, selected the size or not. Uh, we can see here uh, we can select the size uh, using on click size we have one one uh, one uh, recycler view here which is uh, to select the size this is the adapter and this is the ad adapter for it and ha and have uh, uh, given interface for on click size So these are the data models of my app. First is cart mo a ca a cart model. Uh, the second is like model. Third is product order model, and shoe display model. So let me take you to the Firebase console and show my database. So this uh, all my products are listed on the real time database under the child products. So these are my products. Nike Air Jordan, Adidas, Sketches, and all other products. All the orders of the uh, uh, user are listed on the Cloud Fire Store. And like products are also listed on the cloud fast store. And here is the authentication system, which is uh, which is through uh, email. There are many things the app that can be improved. My main aim, main aim uh, while building this app was to learn Firebase. So I focused more on Firebase. Uh, so m the code here is very ugly now. Uh, uh, I could have used MVVM. And uh, the other updates which, could have, which could have, I could have done, uh, which I will be doing soon is like updating the quantity in the database and uh, introducing a checkout system. If you have any feedback, you can put that in the comments. 
and I will be updating my uh, project re real quick uh, and till then bye bye.